Shall we please take our seat? Romania Damien. <laughs> That's what they call me, Romania Damien, for some reason. Um, yes, so we have a team going from Corby to Romania next Saturday. If you are part of that team, I wonder if you would come to the front because everybody would love to meet you, wouldn't you? <laughs> So we had um, a message for, we, we've got a connection with um, uh, something going on in, in a place called Shardu, which is a village near to a major city called Cluj in Romania. Um, we've been several times over the years. Uh, we had a message from them to say they've received no teams to that part of the world um, because of COVID and various things. Um, and so some of the teams that used to go over were practical teams who would go and they would do repairs on the mission's house and they would do painting and decorating and fix things. Um, but nothing like that has happened for quite a few years. And so they were quite in, in some need of some practical help. Um, so we put the word out to you, to the church, and these are the people who responded, um, all of whom are very willing to go and to serve in a practical way. They've also been invited to take part in the church service in the village on the Sunday, which is very exciting. Um, so before we pray for them and, in a sense, commission them into that for next Saturday for the week ahead, um, Liz, who's the missionary there, has sent a message. Uh, we're looking forward to having the team from Corby here next week. Uh, it's so exciting to be able to have teams back again. Um, and we've got lots lined up for them to do. I'm currently studying our youth centre, uh, which is desperately in need of some decorating inside and out. So we're drowned, so you can have a look at where you're going to be working. Um, We've been having some great weather this last week or so, so I'm hoping that continues so that the jobs outside can go ahead. Uh, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who supports this work and who prays for us, who donates financially and in whatever way. And thank you for your interest in what we're doing here. And I just say again, thank you and God bless you all. Amen. Um, is there anybody from Romania in the room today? Is there anyone? Adrian? No. Okay. What was that? Not here this week. Okay. That's fine. So um, what I love about the church and what I discovered very early on is um, wherever you are, if you're a Christian, wherever you are in the world, you've got family there because the church is family. And um, so we consider... Um, the guys in Romania are extended family, and we're just going over to extend some love and some practical support to them. So um, do you guys want to come more over here so people can see your lovely faces? So we're just going to pray for this team, and I wonder if, um, if maybe some, some others could come and gather around them, and we can just pray. Um, and we're going to just bless them, um, pray for the team, that there'll be unity, and that they will... Um, They'll experience joy in serving, that they'll meet some amazing people and be a blessing to them, and they'll also be an encouragement to the church that they, they serve while they're out there. So we'll just pray together. I wonder if you would join us in praying as we, as we do this. So Father, we just want to say thank you for every single one of this incredible team, including Tristan and Ali, um, who can't be here today because they're taking a well-deserved break. But Lord, we pray for this team, Lord God, that you would unite them together, Father, with a common love and a common purpose. And Father, that you would put your spirit upon them, Lord God, so that there would be just a sense of oneness, Lord, that they could never have experienced otherwise. And Father, we pray, Lord Jesus, as they go, Lord God, that you would go before them and open up opportunities for them, Lord God. We pray, Lord Jesus, that it won't just be the practical jobs, although the practical jobs, I pray that you will give them the, the energy, the strength, the resolve, Lord God, to do all of the things that need to be done and to do it um, with, with um, willingness and joy in their hearts. But we pray, Lord Jesus, also, Lord, that you would lead them into conversations with some of the locals, Lord God, with the, the gypsy community down the road, with some of the people in the village 
village. Lord God, that this team would be your representatives, Lord God, on the ground in, in Shardu in Romania. And we pray, Lord Jesus, that, that as they are there, it will be like the fragrance of Jesus is in the place, Lord God. Father, that they would be reminding people of just how amazing you are. And I pray, Lord God, that your light would shine from them. Your love would just pour forth from them, Lord God. And Lord, as they go to the church on Sunday, as they each either share a song or a testimony or preach, we pray, Lord God, that you would just use them to build up and encourage uh, the Christians in that place. And we pray all of these things, knowing that you are great and that you are the one who has called them. You're the one that's going to equip them and fill them with your presence and your power. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So God bless you. Should we um, show our appreciation for these guys?